Yehezkiah, king of Yehuda, had called out to all Yisrael and Yehuda to come to Yerushalayim and keep the Passover to Yahweh, and many of them did so. Of the books called Chronicles, the second, chapter 31. Now when all this was finished, all Yisrael that were present went out to the cities of Yehuda and broke in pieces the pillars and hewed down the Asherim and broke down the high places and the altars out of all Yehuda and Benyamin in Ephraim also and Manasseh until they had destroyed them all. Then all the children of Yisrael returned every man to his possession, into their own cities. And Yehezekiah appointed the courses of the priests and the Lewiim after their courses, every man according to his service, both the priests and the Lewiim, for ascending offerings and for peace offerings, to serve and to give thanks and to praise in the gates of the camp of Yahweh. He appointed also the king's portion of his substance for the ascending offerings, for the morning and evening ascending offerings, and the ascending offerings for the Shabbaths, and for the monthly renewals, and for the appointments, as it is written in the law of Yahweh. Moreover, he commanded the people that dwelt in Yerushalayim to give the portion of the priests and the Lewiim that they might give themselves to the law of Yahweh. And as soon as the command came abroad, the children of Yisrael gave in abundance the first fruits of grain, new wine, and oil, and honey, and of all the increase of the field, and the tithe of all things brought they in abundantly. And the children of Yisrael and Yehuda that dwelt in the cities of Yehuda, they also brought in the tithe of oxen and sheep, and the tithe of dedicated things which were consecrated to Yahweh their God, and laid them by heaps. In the third month they began to lay the foundation of the heaps, and finished them in the seventh month. And when Yehezekiah and the priests came and saw the heaps, they blessed Yahweh and his people Yisrael. Then Yehezekiah questioned the priests and the Lewiim concerning the heaps. And Azariah, the chief priest of the house of Tadok, answered him and said, since the people began to bring the oblations into the house of Yahweh, we have eaten and had enough, and have left plenty, for Yahweh hath blessed his people, and that which is left is this great store. Then Yehezekiah commanded to prepare chambers in the house of Yahweh, and they prepared them, and they brought in the oblations and the tithes and the dedicated things faithfully. And over them, Kornan Yahu the Lewi was ruler, and Shema'i his brother was second. And Yehiel and Azaziahu and Nahat and Ashael and Yerimot and Yozavad and Eliel and Yesemachiahu and Mahat and Benayahu were overseers under the hand of Kornan Yahu and Shema'i his brother, by the appointment of Yehezekiah the king, and Azariah the ruler of the house of the God. And Koreh the son of Yemenah the Lewi, the doorkeeper at the east gate, was over the freewill offerings of the God, to distribute the oblations of Yahweh and the holy things of the holy things.
and under him were Adan and Minyamin and Yeshu and Shemaiyahu, Amariyahu and Shukoniyahu in the cities of the priests in their office of trust to give to their brothers by courses as well to the great as to the small. Besides them that were reckoned by genealogy of males from three years old and upward, even every one that entered into the house of Yahweh as the duty of every day required for their service in their offices according to their courses, and them that were reckoned by genealogy of the priests by their fathers' houses, and the Lewiim from twenty years old and upward in their offices by their courses, and them that were reckoned by genealogy of all their little ones, their women and their sons, and their daughters through all the congregation, for in their office of trust they sanctified themselves in holiness. Also for the sons of Aharon the priests that were in the fields of the suburbs of their cities in every city, there were men that were mentioned by name to give portions to all the males among the priests and to all that were reckoned by genealogy among the Lewiim. And thus did Yehezqiyahu throughout all Yehuda, and he wrought that which was good and right and faithful before Yahweh his God. And in every work that he began in the service of the house of the God, and in the law, and in the commands, to seek his God, he did it with all his heart, and prospered. After these things and this faithfulness, Sennacherib, king of Ashur, came and entered into Yehuda and encamped against the fortified cities and thought to win them for himself.